Good morning and welcome back. So last thing you guys probably want to hear about is another project when we have so many projects to do. But over the past, past few weeks, uh, Pops picked up a few things. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to send the neck back. So we bought an American body, an American neck. This is a roasted maple uh, fender neck made in America. So here we got a date of 9 of 20 there. And then the stamp date right there is, uh, what is it? September 14th, 2022. Beautiful neck. Just feels really good. Nice satin finish on it. Nice color to it. No uh, wood grains or anything in there that really make you go wow, but it's just a super clean, nice, plain neck. Uh, the problem with it is down here on the 12th fret, I don't know if you can see that or not. We'll, we'll set it down and I'll zoom in on it, but there's a whole bunch of like chunks missing on that. Now the, the seller said it's clear coat and you can scrape it off, but yeah, I'll probably take his word for it maybe, but we're gonna uh, just send it back because, and I'm not gonna go ahead and try to peel that off because once I touch it and it's not in the original condition that I received it, then I cannot return it. So I am not gonna try to do anything with that fret. Let me see if I can zoom in here on this. So there you guys can see, you can hear it too. It's almost like, it feels like the lamination of the fret itself come off, but it could be clear coat. I mean, I don't know, but it does look a little lifted too. It's very dark. Seller said could be from the stain. Not sure, but that 12th fret doesn't feel good at all. But the other issue that we are having with it, let's zoom out here a little bit, is if you can see here, it's not going to fit. It's just a little too wide. So at first, Dad and I thought, well, maybe we'll take it down to Lay's and have them fit that neck and fix this fret and then drill out these painted on dots. <laughs> the American neck painted on dots. We were going to have them drilled out and put clay dots and stuff in it. But you know, it's like, you're already, what, 570 bucks or whatever, almost $600 into uh, a neck. Why invest more money into it? To make it fit and here's the crazy thing too so if you look at this sticker here it is for a fender you know you know american pro 2 and you can see the bolt pattern there and of course you know i didn't install it or nothing you can tell that but it just doesn't fit and this is an american 2 pro body from stratosphere and really good deal when you buy stuff from Stratosphere. It comes with the adjuster nut in it for the neck, the strap locks, has the little ground there, inserts for your uh, tremolo. And I had to buy the neck plate separate, but it did come with the bag and uh, COA, the wrenches and the booklet. So that all came with the body. And we don't want to force this in there because uh, I don't want to crack the neck pocket on a $500 body. So I guess we're just going to send this neck back, but that's a shame. He really wanted a, a roasted neck on that. So you guys seen the pickups. We, we showed those to you a while ago before he had anything for the build. He started buying pickups. So it's going to get the DeMarzios in it, uh, HSH. So we're going to go on the hunt for another neck. That fret don't look the greatest either, but it feels good. But yeah, really nice American neck. It's a shame because these are like 800 bucks. So the 570 or whatever it was uh, we paid for, it was a really good deal. But um, it just doesn't doesn't fit in that 12th fret. Really don't like that. So yeah, one more Fender project, guys. Um, sorry we haven't been down here working on the projects. We. We still have Chug to finish from Owen, Circle of Tone. He's a YouTuber. We still have this full fender build. That neck is not bolted in. Nothing's, it's just kind of all set in there. And then we have a Telecaster rebuild. 
that's just going to get pickups and that black pick guard that's just going to sit in there and then we have another full fender telly build here it's going to get more demarzio pickups again that neck's not bolted in or nothing and then you know we do have mine which uh i'm going to probably change everything in there and just pull the pick guard because it's original and find a a vintage pick guard that has the two knobs because I think I'm going to change the pickups and everything in that. So let me go ahead and show you my reasoning behind that and then we'll talk about one more future project and then we're going to go ahead and pack up this neck. So I've been on the prowl always you know looking for pickups and I got these for a couple reasons. So we got the Virgil Arlo 1955 spec uh, pickups and the 1957s. These are by tone specific. So they're all handmade in America. This is all, I haven't, I haven't taken any of them out yet. I just opened a package. But yeah, these are all hand wound, made in America. The reason I got these is because I've been telling you guys <laughs> Someday I'm going to sit down and tell you the story behind this build and why I have to dissect it again. And just for, you know, shits and giggles, we're going to take, uh, I got the pickup conversions to put the Stratocaster pickups in this. So just screwing around, I'm going to put fender pickups in it uh, because I do have to take it apart. So I want to see what it sounds like with fender pickups in it. Someday, I've been practicing on this, but someday we're going to sit down. I'll give you the full story about this, why it's got to come back apart again. We're going to go ahead and throw some fender pickups in it, play around with it. And eventually, if I can get this straightened out the way I want it, I'll go ahead and put some Virgil Arlo's or something good in it. But right now, it's just got 490R, 490T, and a 498 in it with a... Uh, what do you call it? I uh, can't even think right now. Veritone switch, like in the 345 with the different capacitors. So, anyways, none of that turned out the way I expected. So, we are going to go ahead and throw some fender pickups in it. But one of these sets is going to probably go in my 1984 Strat. Um, and I also have uh, stacked knobs for it. So it's a two knob, so I got a a stack tone and a stack volume. We'll go ahead and throw those in there. But so I'm going to be on the prowl for a two knob pick guard for my strat, and that will be like five different fender projects that we'll have. Plus, we got you know the chug and a couple uh, hollow bodies over there, and a couple other <laughs> projects hiding in a corner. And I'm I'm sorry we're not working on them. It's been a very busy summer. Uh, a lot of things are going on, but uh, we're trying to make it a point Saturday. We were going to do a video on this and completely got bummed out when we realized the neck wasn't fitting and it had a fret issue and all that. So basically what we were going to do is Saturday we were going to launch a video showing this and tell you guys every Saturday we're going to try to do a video. So um, at least we have at least content coming once a week and we whittle away at these projects. So uh, maybe next time we see you guys we'll have another neck coming or have found something different altogether I don't know but that is going to have to go back unfortunately uh, it was a good deal normally eight nine hundred bucks for one uh, this one was 576 or something like that to the door with uh, shipping really nice neck I absolutely loved it we thought about uh, having the fretboard and the headstock cleared too as well after putting the clay dots in it but again why put all that extra money in it just send it back and see if somebody else has better luck with it but uh yeah that's very unfortunate really good seller though uh he had no problem uh, taking it back so until next time guys don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, we'll be getting some videos out soon so stay tuned